Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is my i5 4460. I got this pretty cheap used at a cost of £90 or about $112. It retails on average at £170 or about the same in dollars. This is my i5 650 that I bought as part of a motherboard bundle for £60 a while back but on its own it can be found used for £30 and about the same in dollars too which in my opinion makes it a pretty good deal despite its age. Today we're going to be comparing these two CPUs to see just how much performance difference there is between them and whether or not the older one of the two is still worth buying. So the i5-4460 has 4 cores, 4 threads and is clocked at 3.2GHz. It's a socket 1150 CPU that launched in early 2014. The i5-650 has 2 cores and 4 threads and is also clocked at 3.2GHz. It launched 4 years earlier in 2010 and is a socket 1156 CPU. Both launched at a similar price new around $180 according to Intel's website. We've paired both of these with a GTX 1060 and 8GB of DDR3. The only difference with our test today is the motherboards. So let's get into some games and check out the differences. To keep things simple, the gameplay on screen will be from the i5-4460, but we'll put the results from the i5-650 on screen at the end of each clip too, to give you a clear idea of the average and minimum FPS. First up it's Metro Last Light Redux at 1080p with high settings. With this specific level our i5-4460 allowed us to hit 130fps on average which is a very nice result. For comparison the i5-650 saw a slight decrease in frames as expected but we still saw 99 here on the same level which of course is still a nice result. So next up we tried Fallout 4 but did things a little bit differently. We kept the game's stock frame rate limiter enabled here which keeps things at 60 just to see if the game could stick to this number with both processors. With the 4460 gameplay that you see here the FPS was pretty much almost constant even with the ultra settings preset enabled and the same goes for our i5-650 too. There were a few more drops here and there but nothing significant. I'd say that any card better than the 1060 would cause a more significant bottleneck for the older i5 but if you wanted to upgrade your system slowly you could happily pair these two components and have a great gaming experience. Watch Dogs 2 now and we went for the medium preset to try and eliminate as much stutter as possible which is actually next to impossible with this game. We also had FXAA and 2 times MSAA on here to try and find a nice balance between performance and graphical fidelity and with the i5-4460 we saw 65 FPS on average. A very decent experience. Even our i5-650 hit 46 and again proved to be a very playable experience aside from the two less cores. Must be the hyper threading that helped out here. Finally it's the turn of Team Fortress 2, a less demanding game but a very popular one nonetheless. You shouldn't expect too much of a difference here in terms of playability because the frame rate sits quite high anyway. With the highest settings and 1080p again we saw 150 frames on average with our 4460 and still way over 100 with the 650. Overall the older i5 in my opinion is still a pretty decent processor especially for the price. Bear in mind that as a dual core it may start to present limitations quite soon but it seems that thanks to the hyper threading it's still capable of running games and should have no problem with those that require quad cores. As an 1156 socket CPU it may be a little harder or a little more expensive to acquire an older motherboard but it will still be cheaper than the 4460 on its own. It's no surprise that the newer i5 performed better and is definitely the one to buy if you can afford to do so but it's nice to see how the now 7 year old processor can hold up so well and if you are planning on upgrading your graphics card to something like a 1060 it shouldn't present too much of a bottleneck either. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I got the idea because my i5-650 was just sitting there. And my 4460 is, of course, the one that I use in my daily system. And I thought, why not compare the two? So as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll see all of you in the next video.